Hey, this is Chev with Be Gone For Good. Today, we're gonna to be talking about one of the luggage systems that we recently took with us on a trip. Stay tuned. As many of you who watch this channel know, we just recently completed our Mid-Atlantic BDR route that we have done this past year. During the course of this route, we had a chance to really test out a lot of our gear from our luggage systems, to our tank bags, to our tools, everything that we brought that we used on that trip. One of those luggage systems was the Tusk Olympus Panniers that Kevin got on his bike. Now, after a major crash on day one, we had an opportunity to kind of look at these bags and what worked and what didn't and how they held up over the course of the 10 day excursion that we had, even with that crash being on day one. If you want to see more information about any of the other gear that we took on this trip or any behind the scenes footage, all of that stuff, we do have a Patreon page where we're putting up a ton of extra content for you. Anybody who wants to support the channel a little bit more, I think it's $3 a month gets you access to essentially everything that's out there, plus a little bit of be gone for good swag while you're at it. The link Link is down below in the description. Check us out there if you want to show a little bit extra support to the channel. We really appreciate it. I'll leave it to Kevin to tell you all about his Tusk Olympus panniers and the racks that went along with them. All right, so here we have Kevin with his Whoa. fantastic baggage system here, the Tusk, what are they called? Olympus. Tusk Olympus. Soft That's panniers. why it's written right on there. Soft panniers. Now, what brought you to the Tusk panniers? So I wanted some soft luggage, but I just could not swing the Moscow price tag. Wasn't a big fan of just the uh, the Wolfman stuff, just uh, just like that soft bag design. I didn't really like it. I wanted the height, one of the uh, the stretcher nylon on the outside, to maybe maybe a little bit more durability. And the price point, I got the racks, I got the Tusk racks, and these bags for just shy of six. So you are all in. Just short of six hundred dollars, racks and everything. Racks and everything. Oh, that's so. Uh, the racks have been really good so far. The install was super simple. Uh, maybe about two hours or so, a couple hand tools, a power tool to drill through um, on the rear fender, and, and you're in. And the instructions, the other video is great. The Tusk video, install video was perfect. It did everything that it needed to. Um, so okay. they're pretty nice. We haven't, I've, I've definitely crashed this, and the racks are as good as they were the day I put them on. Yeah. So crashed it and we got a scuff on the bag. Was there anything else? Any buckles ripped? Anything? No, nothing else ripped up. A little scuff from where I slid across the pavement into the rocks and the grass and into the tree. Um, but in terms of any kind of lasting damage, you'd be hard pressed to find anything else. All the buckles work. So it's a full outer covering on the bag. Um, and then what goes, what goes on the inside? So it comes with these dry bags. They're not quite as thick as the uh as if you're if you're if you're cross shopping them uh, to the moscow not quite as thick a little more scratch on the outside with the waterproofing on the inside so they're, they're actually pretty durable okay. um but they go they they fit inside so they're 35 liters and they fit inside the 35 liter uh outer bag okay. so these are 25 dollars for a pair so if you if you do really get after your outer bags and they, and they scratch the inner bag you can replace these only and just kind of sew up your outer bag or patch it up however you want to do it okay. so pretty nice or if you want to do more of it, and or if you want to buy more of these and then compartmentalize your inner bag, you can as well. Okay. So pretty so. much a standard um, dry standard, bag. Yeah, a standard dry bag, roll top. But it's bag. all squared up to fit the pannier. Correct. And then you've got four pockets, two on the front that are like bottle holders, and then two on the back that have... Yeah, no, they, the same thing, same bottle They holders. say they're the same size. Two in the back are just roll tops. Oh, okay, and then the so ones they're roll the tops. And just then... kind of pull like, like little okay, same scrunchies. Stuff. Um, a bunch of buckles and... Yeah, there's different ways to kind of kind of do it up. There's two sides, cinches, and then there's top cinches. So if you needed to put some extra stuff on top, you want to put an extra water bottle there, you could cinch it up with the top strap. So And it's got a roll top on there. And we were in a massive deluge last night. And did they stay dry? So the deluge we were in were a couple, it was a couple days ago riding through. And I mean, oh, it was... Like we had to slow down. It was so it was raining so hard, and they got wet. The inside was was was. I mean, it was to the touch wet. Last night we got um, a steady rain, you know, from a shot, you know, a light rain for five hours, and they were not wet on the inside. So they but say water just, resistant. Just wet inside this bag, not correct. wet not, inside no. the dry bag. So the these dry bag's good still go. good. Everything inside yeah. is dry, dry. Tuss says these. Tuss says the black is water resistant, which I would say too. Again, in the deluge, 
uh, it was not, but in the uh, in the night rain for five hours or so, they were completely dry on the inside. So okay. passing grade for, for most applications. So you think for comparison to the Moscow stuff, it's obviously not as rugged necessarily, yeah, but completely money. takes care of what you needed to barring like a massive fall and slide type of thing. Yeah, pack. for the money, it's hard to beat, especially because you get a rack with them. With the Moscow, you gotta have your own rack. So you're you're looking at well over a thousand for the Moscow Backcountry 35s. Right. Um, I'm thinking they're probably about 85% there for about half the price. So you can't really beat that. And they're they're a little they're a little bit more of a rectangle where the Moscow's got a little bit more squarishness to them. So you kind of got to be worried, you know, you kind of just be aware of that. They're, they're longer front to back, not as wide. Right. So they don't the stick as far, like your profile Correct. from the rear is not nearly as Correct. Big. They, so. also, they also do come with um, buckles that go over the bike um, as, like a, as like a saddle. I took those off and I, I, I elected to use my, uh, uh, my steel core security straps. So they say that these add a little bit of stability to like the weight of the bag. So, so they it's go, not like hanging off the side. Exactly. So it's not hanging off. So instead, I'm going through. I'm going through the grab handle and then around the bike and really trying to pull that thing up and using this steel core as the as a as the additional support to cinch it down. To cinch it down and then it also locks it up for me. And I think it's a little cleaner instead of having to play with these uh, straps going back and forth. Uh, and can you show me how it um, it detaches? I see this little loop down. Yeah. Here. So the tusk paneers, um, uh, they're hard and soft on their racks. It's just a little pull cord. So you pull the cord and it just comes right off. Okay, and then it's got the full frame on the back side. Yep, and this comes with the bag. So this is all, like I, all this is piece. the rack and this this this, uh, this mounting plate and the soft bag all together. I think it's like 586. Okay, can so, you put it back up on there? And it just, it's got a rocket. A little finagling, it's pretty tight. Cause they're brand new. There's, there's a little foam backings. So you kinda gotta push it down. But once you finagle it in, pull the cord. Pull the cord and it just goes right back there and it's in. Dang. So good go. Pretty slick uh, detach this thing going to hotels or if it is gonna rain, put it in your tent, stuff like that. Okay. And you have so, overpacked, so you've had no issues with I have weight yeah, distribution. I got some, or... got some pretty heavy ones, so this one's obviously a little closer because of the uh, because of the AT exhaust. So I've tried to put my heavier stuff in here, a little closer to the center line of the bike. But I got tools in there, um, ratchets, all kinds of all kinds of heavy metal stuff, and it's been no problem. And that's the, this is also the side that went down on the ground during the crash. So, you know, the heavy side down first and it's been, you know, no problem. Okay, so, so thumbs up a, for yeah, uh, Tusk on this stuff? A plus, I think they're, like I say, for the money, it's kind of hard to beat the Tusk stuff. Awesome, So thanks. Yeah. So that's our quick review of the Tusk Olympus panniers that Kevin has on his Africa Twin. If you have any questions, anything you still need to know about them, please leave a comment down below and we'll get an answer out to you as quick as we can. We shoot videos all about adventure motorcycling and the trips that we've taken, the gear that we're on, any sort of tips and tutorials that we can get along the way. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, definitely subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon so you get notifications anytime we release a new video. We've got a lot of new stuff coming, including our full movie about the Mid-Atlantic BDR and our travels along that route. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.